Prince Harry issued a stark warning in a message he wrote with the co-founder of one of his most beloved organizations. The Duke of Sussex and Prince Cecil wrote in the latest annual report of their charity, the reality is that existing inequalities have either deepened or been exacerbated during the past two years. This has created a compounding effect, as the COVID-19 and HIV pandemics are intrinsically intertwined in many ways. They went on listing some of the fresh challenges created by the COVID crisis. The patron said, parents and carers have lost their jobs, young people can't find work, children have missed out on schooling, gender-based violence has rocketed and young people tell us their mental health has deteriorated. Poverty is on the rise. Centu Bale was founded in 2006 by Harry and CSO, the younger brother of Lesotho's King Letsi III. The charity has successfully become a reference point in the country for children and teenagers struggling with their HIV status. Centa Bale aims at supporting young people's mental health and well-being and giving them the tools to lead a long and productive life. The name of the charity is strongly linked to Princess Diana, as the Duke of Sussex himself revealed in 2007 during the concert for Diana. Centa Bale, he said at the time, means forget-me-not in the Sesotho language and represents both the late Princess of Wales' favourite flower and a reminder to everyone not to forget Lesotho and its children. In 2016, Centobale grew to the point it was able to launch a new branch in Botswana. In their foreword, Cecil and Harry also touched upon the COVID vaccine rollout in Southern Africa, an issue the Duke of Sussex has been very vocal about. They wrote, the global vaccine rollout has been far too slow and far too many have been left at risk. Thankfully, Vaccination rates across the Southern Africa region are picking up but as many in the HIV advocacy community have known for decades, we cannot just hope for a pandemic to disappear. It takes resources, investment, ingenuity, leadership, and access to solve a public health crisis. The two royals also noted the challenges presented by the COVID crisis have taught valuable lessons, including the advantages of mixing a virtual and face-to-face -face approach while supporting those in need. They also voiced their pride in the work done by the organization's members and said their personal commitment to the charity remains unwavering. Since the spring of 2021, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle have become vocal advocates for the worldwide distributions of COVID vaccines, deemed the only way to put an end to the pandemic. In the run-up to the Global Citizens Vax Live concert in May last year, the Duke and Duchess became campaign chairs and led a coordinated drive across the private sector to raise critical funds for COVAX a vaccine-sharing program co-led by the World Health Organization WHO. On World AIDS Day, Harry compared the COVID vaccine inequity to the HIV struggle, saying vaccinating the whole world against coronavirus is a test of our moral character. He wrote in an open letter readout at a WHO and UN AIDS event, Are we really comfortable repeating the failures of the past? Everything I've learned from the youth of Santa Bale tells me not. Prince Harry's stay in the U.S. is far from what he wanted from his life. The Duke of Sussex, that stepped back from royal duties in search of a private life for his wife and kids, is being dragged into limelight by the Americans. PR consultant Mr. Hillgrove claims that the father of two is struggling in the U.S. He told Express.co.uk, Unfortunately, Harry's just like a rabbit in the headlights and caught up in it. He doesn't look like a happy person at all. He looks jaded. Talking about Harry's 2019 interview, he said, The funny thing is, what he said in the ITV interview was that he's withdrawing from royal life, because he doesn't want to be in the limelight. But then he's morphed into this creation in America, whereas he's on the top of a bus, singing with James Corden, added Mr. Hillgrove. It's a million miles from what he professed that he wanted, he said he wanted a private life. He added, he thinks this system in America has got his best interests and everyone at home is has got it in for him. The thing is he has gone so far now. There seems to be a lot of envy and jealousy of being the brother that's not in first line at all that type of stuff. He's got a sense of importance and power, but when the puppet masters in America that are managing the Harry and Meghan show realize they can get much more out of them they will be off, and he'll be on the sidelines. I feel really sorry for Harry, 